Okay, for some reason, I didn't feel like working on my lyrics or my songs today. I tried a couple of times, but just wasn't into it. So I switched tracks and wrote this song. This wrote this short story about leprechauns. One day, Mary Jones decided to eat her lunch in a park near her office. And that's where it happened. She met a leprechaun, large as life, or at least as large as leprechauns be. So you're real? she asked. Yes, we're real, he said. They talked as time passed without notice. Every town and village in Ireland has a leprechaun's park in it, he said. And by law, the peace treaty between humans and leprechauns, all of the rainbow's magic, the power of the leprechauns, in the area must be contained within the park's borders. And outside of the park, there can be mischief, but no magic. And only by your wits can you fool and befuddle a human. So you're a trickster, said Mary. And now I suppose you're up to tricking me and playing me for a fool. Well, I'll have none of it, you hear me? None of it. No, this is no trick, Mary. I, I stand before you without guile or pretense. I am yours. Mary did not hear half of what he had said as she had started walking away, mumbling, Well, I've got to get back to work. Pleasant day, sir. Ooh, she was so mad. Later, Mary Jones told her sister that she had seen one, a leprechaun. She was sure of it. So her sister asked, Tell me what that leprechaun looked like. And she said, Well, his body and legs were about the size of my fist with a head on top of it, and he said his name was Seamus. Oh, did he now, said her sister. The next day they met again in the park. We weren't always as small as we are today, he said. Our world has been shrunk by a spell to fit inside of these parks. But, it, but long ago and far away, the whole world was ours, and filled with magic. Then a leprechaun princess Rosa Maya fell in love with a human, Connor O'Malley, in the O'Malley of the O'Malley clan. Uh, so she taught him of our ways and shared many secrets with him, which unknown to her, he shared in confidence with his brother Liam, who then betrayed Connor's trust and used his knowledge to attack our armies and lay siege to our castles. And Connor was in shock. He couldn't believe what his brother had done. So he ran to the Princess Rosamea, who was so angry with him that she turned him into stone. And then realizing what she had done, her own tears turned her into stone as well. And then her father, seeing what had happened, his anger vanished, and instead of waging all-out war, and destroying the humans once and for all, he instead rose above his rage and sued for peace. And the leprechauns agreed to move into these parks and to be and to keep all of the rainbow's magic within the park's boundaries. Now it is said that the spell keeping the rainbow's magic within the parks will not be broken, nor the lovers freed from the stone prisons that trap them and keep them apart, until there is true love once again between a human and a leprechaun. So that, what, so that is what this is all about, she asked. What is, what, what, what about? What, 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 she said. Oh, men, you make me so. And then they kissed. What magic there is in a kiss. Suddenly Mary was the size of the leprechaun. Was the leprechaun the size of the human? Come with me, I want to show you the stones, he said. So she went with him. There they are, Princess Rosa May and her human. I mean, her, her Connor O'Malley. Oh, the lovers, said Mary. Yes, the lovers. But why hasn't the spell been broken? Why haven't they been freed from... From the stone prison. I think maybe because even though you have accepted my world. 
I have yet to step across into yours. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Not so fast, Mary. Not so fast. I mean, the human world is so big. And I was so lost in that world. It, it was all so fast and loud. I don't know, Mary. It's much better here. We can be happy right here in the park. I'm sure of it. Yes, Seamus. But the spell still hasn't been broken. The lover or nor the lover's freed. And besides, the human world isn't so bad. You just you just have to give it a chance, is all. I'm, I'm afraid, he whispered. Don't be. I'll be with you, she said, as she took his hand in hers and they walked together beyond the park. And then, when they turned back towards the park, they saw the lovers, Princess Rosa Maya and Conor O'Malley, waving at them as the rainbow's magic once again spread out across the world. The end.